welcome back. Here we are playing a game I have not played in many years, um, and I'm hoping that everything's going to go off without a hitch. So this is by Bullfrog Productions, Theme Hospital. You know how there's like theme parks and theme um, zoos and theme cities and towns and all these various um, uh, games and simulations? Well, here's one where you get to simulate running a hospital. So, without further ado, well, let's get started. Uh, oh, well, gosh, I'm limited to eight characters. Already, we have a problem. Hmm. Okay. What great name should we go with? Who would be the right person to be in charge of a hospital. Well, all else aside, I'm going with my own name, but I want to find if there's like some clever catch-22 sort of name. Like, I could maybe do Yossarian, but there aren't enough letters. Um, so what wonderful catch-22 adventurish sort of name do we want to go with? Or, um, well, I guess I'm probably going to go with my own name then. There we go. Ooh, he looks smart. And he's got a lab coat. Hmm. All right. So we've got go back to the main... Or, Continue previous game, new game, load a game, network game? Oh my goodness. Let's check this out. What's this about a network game? Is there really network support built into this? Dude, if I had a modem hooked up, we could do it that way. Or if we had IPX or serial connection, sure. IPX? Oh. Bummer. Let's try cereal. Yeah. Uh, let's say we got a 144 modem on COM2 with IRQ3. No. Or let's see what modem settings we got. Dude, we could put in a phone number and actually dial up. Alright. If anybody figures out how to get this working over a network, we could do some network play. It'd be awesome. Um, but yeah, in the interim, let's start a new game. All right. I can't click on anything else, right? Well, there's quit, but who wants to do that? I could click on this dude, I could click on the sign on his back, but really we just want to start a new game. You hooked him good. Okay. Let's try uber super duper easy because I've never succeeded at this game. Also, it's been forever, so let's do uh, first game. And for goodness sake, low resolution is completely out of the question. I mean, I thought 480p was low resolution, but sure. All right, we need a reception desk. So let's plop that down. Um, wait, can I rotate this? I don't know, apparently not. Okay, you're gonna need a receptionist. Can take a look through these people. Do I want the first one? Do I want the next one? So you gotta pick one. Yeah, let's pick somebody good. You're hired. Here, I'm gonna stick you over here. You're gonna have to walk to your desk. Okay, we're gonna need a general practitioner's office. Come on, I can click this. Here we go. Decide how big it's going to be, click and hold, and that will be the size of the office. Um, apparently, 
whatever. I was gonna say, apparently my mouse is kind of finicky. Um, I mean, we don't need a larger office than that, right? Place the door. Uh, we'll stick it near the entrance. Place some windows if you like. Sure. Oh, we've already got windows on the outside. Um, there we go. Do I want another one leading into the next room? Eh, sure, why not? Okay. Gonna put the desk against the wall. Oh, which leaves no room for the filing cabinet. I knew that. Um, oh, right click to rotate. Okay, and seat over here. Yeah, good enough. New patients will be sent here to find out what's wrong with them. They'll be sent either to further diagnosis or to a room where they can be cured. Might want to build another GP office if this one gets too busy. Um, oh. Alright, so we need a doctor. Have a good look at the, them and then pick one. Ha <laughs> uh, So I can pick the worst doctor. Um, sure. Alright, you're hard, dude. The doctors are going to need all the help they can get to diagnose some of the patients. You can assist them by um, having an additional diagnosis facility, such as the general diagnosis room. When you've diagnosed some of the patients, you will need to build treatment facilities and clinics to cure them. So one of them will be a pharmacy, you'll need a nurse. Keep an eye on your reputation. This is what tracks the patients from far and wide. If you don't kill too many people and keep uh, your patients reasonably happy, you shouldn't have too much difficulty with that. All right, here we go. Uh, set up the desk, build the office, the receptionist and doctor. Then wait for some business to come along. It's a good idea to build a psychiatry department and hire a doctor with psychiatric qualifications. Pharmacy and nurse are also essential to curing your patients. Watch out for bloaty head and inflation room. We'll sort those out. Okie dokie. So, treatment. Um, I'll stick one of these over. Oh, never mind. Okay, can I stick a pharmacy over there? Pharmacy is here. There we go. Yeah, sure. Got some windows. There we go. Wow. Good enough. I think I have to audio balance this stuff. Um, likely the game is completely overwhelming uh, me audio-wise. Where do I go to settings? Okay, that's cool. Now, where's settings for real? S policy, hire staff, date, build rooms, um... Oh, here we go. File options. Uh, music volume. Okay, that should be a lot better. Um, I'm already seeing, though, I'm not content with how I set this up. And I did go through the tutorial successfully, so let's go back and start this over. Because uh, I really don't like the size I made that room as opposed to the room with the pills in it. So. Alright, so. Um, first, we've got to get a reception desk. And rotate it and see how close we can stick that to the door. There we go. We've got to employ a receptionist. Uh, so we employ staff by clicking on nurses, receptionists. All right, hire person. Here we go. Okay, we're going to need a diagnosis room. 
Uh, yeah, actually, if we've got all that space, why not use it? There we go. Desk. Filing cabinet. Chair. It's fine. I'm not sure if that's where you normally put all those things. Uh, treatment. Whoops, that's not what I'm looking for. Treatment. Pharmacy's pretty inexpensive. It's just the room with the pills. Um, okay, fine. Apparently this has to be of a certain dimension to be usable. Um... And since we've got the space, we'll make use of it. Okay, pharmacy cabinet. There we go. And now, um, I'm going to have to hire some more staff. Let's see. Oh, he's got psychiatric ability, so he as does this dude. Yeah, there's so many guys who are able to deal with, um, I forget what psychiatric, uh, I thought that that has to do with, no, I'm thinking of pediatric, not, psych not psychiatric. Alright. Um, okay, let's put a bench out. There's a bench. Oh, I can't place it here. Can't place... Oh, I can place it there. Good enough. Um, and then we're going to hire a nurse. Here we go. Eh, sure. Let's open up. Five days early or something. Um, diagnosis, general diagnosis room. We will need one of these at some point, so why not build it now? Okay, confirm. Place the door here, get some more windows going. There we go. I guess they do need a screen. Can I rotate this? It's not rotatable. Okay. Crash trolley's got to fit somewhere in this office. Uh, there maybe. Patients who require further diagnosis are sent here. requires any doctor. Cool. Um, let's see, do I want to build anything else? Um, so we could build a psychiatric, we could build a ward. Um, mad patients and helps in the diagnosis of other patients. It requires this doctor who has psychiatric skills. Thankfully, we have such a doctor. Um, there we go. Confirm. We need a door. Put some windows out here. There we go. Place a screen. Couch. Comfortable chair. Oh, can I not rotate this the other way? Fine, let's stick the chair right there. That looks a bit silly, but it's functional. And that's what counts. Um, oh, hang on. 
It's bloaty head. Um, okay. Symptoms. Very uncomfortable for the sufferer. Um, swollen head is popped, then reinflated with the correct PSI using a clever machine. Okay, we've got to have an inflator room. Um, otherwise, if we popped their head, uh, it would never get inflated back. Um, there we go. The door here. We can put windows all around so everybody can see the operation in progress. Um, wait. Come on, is there not room? Just place this somewhere in the room. There we go. Uh, right. Oh, okay, also requires the handyman. Oh, I got the low voice on today. Great. So, I should speak like this. So it sounds really epic. So, yeah. Um, I'm not sure what to say about that. I did boost my bitrate to 1800. Um... I could restart the stream and see if that fixes anything. Um, what was I looking for? Staff room would be kind of nice. Here we go. That's our staff room. Here's our door to the staff room. Here's windows so everybody can see the staff goofing off. Here we go. Place one sofa in the corner. Um. <laughs> sorry, I couldn't resist. Uh, sure. Welcome aboard. Um. Oh, I need to invite a hand or employ a handyman. Your. Doop a doop. Okay, so there's four to choose from. Drop this guy here. Uh-oh. Oh man, these guys have low T head. Um, okay, we gotta play some benches. Here a bench. There a bench. Everywhere a bench. I might need another doctor. Here we go. So they have a condition known as bloaty head. Um, ooh. Yeah. 85. 85%. That's a pretty good chance that we know what we're doing. Only a 15% chance we might accidentally kill the patient. Oh, we cured him. Perfect. We knew what we were doing all along. Oh, have I not hired a handyman? I could have sworn that I did. Okay, you gotta have the plants. Also, can I rotate the screen at all? Stick a plant there. Display. Uh, that's cool. It's all cool. Wow. Um. Okay, let's increase music volume to 80%. Uh, um. I might 
might need another diagnosis office. Ooh. That's kind of a problem. Hang on. Got to move this or expand it. I think that'll work. Okay. There we go. Alright, so. Not a bad establishment, certainly. You've been awarded a cash grant of 800 bucks. Nice. Let's see, am I turning a profit or not? I don't know. Oh, we want drinks machines? Okay. Here, let's purchase negative one drinks machines. There we go. Um, let's see. Oh, right, I was going to place some more plants. Ooh, we're going to have to build another diagnosis room. Okay. I think this is what we want to do. Um, I think I want to add more equipment into the ward, though. Um, well, I can't add things while it's occupied. Uh, at least I can't. I like I'd have to evict some of the. Uh, people to do that stuff. Oh, I need a room for toilets. Here we go. Are you serious? Okay, so people want to use the bathroom. They're going to have to hike for it. I'm going to stick the bathroom way up here. There we go. Put the door... I don't know. I really don't know. Put it here. Here, stick a window. Got a sink. Got a toilet. Uh... Another toilet or two. There we go. Apparently I need more seating and more plants. Um, so let's furnish things. Oh, can I not put this? Here we go. Um, so now what? Oh, right, so I was going to say I need to... Not that. I need to furnish, like, this ward. Um... Is this used just for building rooms or for adding equipment to rooms? I 
might get moved up to the next uh, level. This is just a tutorial level. Um, oh, edit room items. Here we go. So I can add beds. Come on, do I not have room for another bed? Oh, beds have to go against the walls. Place that, place some windows. That's a shame. Oh, somehow now I've got room for beds. Cool. There we go. Game saved. Um. Ooh, the Hall of Shame. Check this out. Uh, give me one minute. I've got to go unload a pizza out of the oven. Looks like that could take another five minutes or so. All right, let's continue. Hooray! Best reputation during the last year. Having the most valuable hospital in the game. And the inspectors like my hospital. Awesome. Um, so yeah, there I am. Uh, I don't know how I'm doing. Oh, I'm doing pretty well in the death count total. I'm sure I'll make it up there and uh, get some more deaths at some point. But yeah, so far so good. <gasps> Dear Dan, jolly good. You have made excellent progress at your hospital. We have found somewhere else for you to run. If you fancy a change of scenery and a fresh set of challenges, you don't have to accept, but it might be worthwhile if you do. Salary is 16050. Do you want a job at Sleepy Hospital? Uh, Sleepy Hollow Hospital. Yeah, sure, why not? We've passed the tutorial. We're on to bigger, better things. There's a greater variety of ailments. Set up your hospital to deal with more patients and plan to build a research department. Remember to keep your establishment clean, and try to keep your reputation as high as poss possible. You'll be dealing with diseases like slack tongue, so you'll need a slack tongue clinic. You can also build a cardiogram to help you diagnose new illnesses. Both these rooms will need to be researched before you can build them. Now you can also build, or you can buy extra plots of land to expand your hospital. Use the town map. Aim for a reputation of 300 bank balance of 10,040 people cured. Sure, why not? Okay. So, we need a reception desk. Um, we need a general practitioner's office. Okay, we're going to need a general diagnosis clinic. Or not a clinic, but an office. Uh, I can't rotate this. I'll stick that in the corner, stick that in the other corner. Um, Alright. 
pharmacy, stick that up here somewhere. It's the fancy room with all the pills. Sure. Right, I know I'm going to have to employ people for this hospital. It's not going to run itself. Um, add a ward. Uh, stick the door in that corner just to be interesting. How many windows can we stick on this ward? That's a lot of windows. That's pretty cool. Okay. There's a bed. How many more beds can I fit in here? Here's a bed. Here's a bed. Okay. Uh, let's hire some staff. Oh, nice. Also nice. Higher. Whoops. Let's hire a doctor. General practitioner skills. Yeah, that's kind of a bummer when they die in the corridors. Okay, we will need a researcher, so here you go. Um. And let's hire a nurse. Uh, there's only one nurse to select from, so you're hired. Uh, let's hire a handyman. There we go. And start furnishing the place. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Have I forgotten anything? Nice. We've already satisfied our financial criteria. Now we just need um, to continue operating efficiently and not kill too many patients, which would be kind of bad for our reputation. Um. Here, should I build a room? Let's say we could build an inflator room, although so far there's not any need for it. Uh, psychiatric might not be a terrible idea. Oh. Okay, well you're telling me that I need a... If I need a different size of room... Um, here, let's add staff room right over here whoops I did that wrong Put the door over here the door is the first thing you place there we go um I mean, what kind of staff rooms complete without a pool table? Okay. So... Have I forgotten anything? I don't know. We'll let this run for a second and see if any patients come in uh, with some... with some um, things that need to be treated. to build a clinic 
It's got an inflator room. Uh, stick that back here somewhere. Sure. There we go. TV personalities. Cause. Daytime television. Symptoms. Delusions of being able to present a cookery show. Cure. A trained psychiatrist must convince the patient to sell their TV and buy a radio. Okay. Let's see. Um, oh, we've already got a psychiatric, right? No, we don't. We've got to build a psychiatric office. That's the right size, but it's not going to fit here. So let's move it over one. There we go. Stick that there. There we go. Um, yeah, I might need to purchase an additional facility. Oh, we don't have a research department. Um, hang on, we gotta build a research department. This technology that they offer in the game is hilarious. Um, Put that in the room. Okay, we'll stick the auto autopsy over there. Uh, sure. There we go. That's a funny name for a machine. All right, they want some drinks machines. We'll give them drinks machines, sure. Okay, we got a question here. Um, okay, so I could build another diagnosis room. We've got a ward, we got a psychiatric. I have a general diagnosis room. I think I do. Yeah, that's the room up there. Um, just install a second GP office back here. There we go. Oops. Let's try that again. Here's the door. Here's the window. Cabinet in the corner and the chair back here. All right. Um, am I running low on doctors or something? Okay. So, um, I think I'm actually doing well with my staff at the moment. I think. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's just because that patient's PO'd. Alright, 33 patients to go. Hopefully we're not going to kill that patient who we think, um... We know what kind of invisibility they have, but maybe we don't. Uh, 
Uh, let's furnish this with some plants. To really spruce up these rooms. Even if the plants themselves aren't spruce. Alright, we're halfway there to winning this level. Uh, I still have not purchased the other property, and maybe buying it would help me. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I feel like something's not exactly right here. Either my doctors are in the middle of some procedures or something, or I just don't have enough, or what. Oh, wait, I get it now. That patient who claimed uh, we didn't have the right offices um, was okay. Um, I'm sorry, they're correct. I had the right office, but I just didn't have the right kind of doctor to treat them. And the game didn't know to tell me that. It's okay. I don't blame the game. Alright. I'm going to send you to the research department. You just might have to purchase a Sacton clinic. And by purchase, I mean build. Okay, where do I go to the town map? Um, yep, that's ours now. Okay. Uncommon cold. Cure. A big swig of uncommon cough medicine. Oh, of course. Um... Alright. Um. There we go. In fact, why don't I just put this up against the corner? Nice. Oh. So I guess the cure for slack tongue is just slice up the patient's tongue, and then there's no more slack. Well, this game's creative. Okay, so can we furnish this even further? Oh, that doesn't fit there. Where does it fit? How about here, maybe? There we go. Nice. So I'll wait for the next event to happen.
so oh, we're not doing too bad now, are we? I mean, sure, I don't have the most money of all the people here. However, um, I don't know, I'm doing good service for my customers. At least now that I have the correct doctors. Nice. Let's add a TV. And another sofa, maybe? Okay, is there not room for another sofa? I guess there's not, there really isn't room for another sofa. Alright, we can still place the TV though. Um. There we go. Alright, the squit. Ooh. Cure. A glutinous mix of stringy pharmaceutical chemicals chemicals solidify <laughs> the patient's innards. Well, that sounds pleasant. Um, Alright. Reputation's doing awesome. And I'm trading patients really quickly. Good that the VIP shows up after the patient, the disgruntled patient leaves. Thank you. 
I wonder, do I have enough nurses? Do I maybe need another nurse? Um... I'm not sure. I think it might be okay. turn announcements down a touch. Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, there's rats? Dude, where can I find the rats? Yeah, I'm not seeing them. Ooh. Um... Eh, sure. 73% pretty... That's almost 3 and 4. Oh man, we better install more seating, guys. Oh sweet, we killed patient. Where's the smoking machine? This game was telling me that I'd just find something that's just smoking. So we only killed one patient while the VIP was there, and he probably didn't even see it. Uh, also, I'm told that my mic is um, not hearing me correctly, or Twitch is just, I don't know, not picking up the packets the right way, but it sounds like my voice must be pretty deep, so I'll try to compensate for that somehow. <laughs> I totally killed a patient while the VIP was here. Oh, awesome. He didn't even notice, and he gave me a cash grant. Hmm. I guess killing patients isn't that bad of a thing after all. Let's hire on a second nurse, though. Sure, you're hired. Go have fun, I guess. There we go. Oh, 
Oh yeah, by the way, uh, this game is on sale at GOG. So check it out there. And if anybody can figure out how to get network play going, more power to them. Hmm. Well, this sucks. Um. Sure. 64%. That's almost two-thirds. All right, what are the odds that we kill both patients? We've got a 36% chance that we kill one, and 11% chance that we kill the other. So multiply those two together, and we've got about a 3 to 4% chance that we kill two patients. So, hopefully not, but it could happen. Now we just sit back and wait for it to happen. Huh, I wonder what the booing's about. I so, so wonder. Dun dun dun! Jolly good! You've made some excellent progress at your hospital. I just pronounced that wrong. It's progress. There we go. You've made some excellent progress at your hospital. We've found somewhere else for you to run, should you fancy a change of scenery and a fresh set of challenges. You don't have to accept, but it might be worthwhile if you do. The salary is 18718. Do you want a job at Large Chester? Sure, why not? Okay. Ooh, you'll be setting up a hospital in an affluent area. The Ministry of Health is looking for you to secure a healthy profit. You'll need to gain a good reputation, but once it's ticking over, concentrate on earning as much cash as, <gasps> as you can. There's also the chance of emer emergencies occurring when a large number of people arrive at once, all with the same condition. Oh, crud. Diseases like the King Syndrome could occur, and you should budget for building an operating theater with a ward close by. Okie dokie. Um, I feel like the game is dropping me some subtle hints there. Um...
Oops. I guess that's the most beds I can fit in the room. Um... Okay, so we definitely need a GP office. Um, which means I need to move the reception desk. Ooh, that's unfortunate. Whatever. Okay, we're gonna need to build a general diagnosis office. I think part of what makes the game challenging as you go on is being able to predict um, what sorts of rooms need to go where and how large they need to be. Okay, um... Need a receptionist. We need a doctor. We need a researcher. and a handyman. Okay. Um... Oh, where can I put this plant here? Alright, and I got one more plant to plant. Or just, yeah, call it there. I don't know, we'll stick one here. Okay. Um, and put some benches in place. What else do I need? What else do I need? Um, psychiatric would not be a terrible idea. Um, oh, 
Hang on. We have an issue. Four people with uncommon cold who require immediate attention. You already have the required equipment and skills. You have the drug they need. Oh. Yeah. No, I'm totally ready. We are so ready for the uncommon cold. Uncommon cold, though. Really? Come on, let's be efficient here. We have a research department? We need to create one. Okay, that's not adequate space. There we go. And then let's plant the auto auto top auto autopsy machine. Cool. Did I not cure everybody with the uncommon cold? Nice. There we go. Hmm. And you know, should using the um you should using this equipment fail, they could always send a patient into the auto autopsy machine over here. Because I can. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, we gotta build a staff room, guys. How can you possibly have a hospital that doesn't have a staff room with a sofa? But not just a sofa, but also. Two pool tables and two TVs. Perfect. That's exactly what our staff needs. That's exactly what the city needs.
was a staff room right in the middle of the hospital. <laughs> um, also, probably some benches. Yeah. I'm surprised every hospital doesn't come with one of those, and I put it in the best possible place. Oh, someone just got stuck. Plan your hospital better. Eh, it's their own fault they got stuck. Well, if you can't make it into the door, you're discharged, buddy. Um. No, I guess seriously, this is kind of an issue. Heaped piles that require immediate attention. Eh, sure. Why not? Apparently, people are stuck in the hallways, though I don't know why. With this one person's completely stuck in the door. Um, yeah, apparently, something about what I did has confused all patients. Um, that's kind of their problem, though. Gonna get loud, you say. What's going to get loud? Spare ribs. <laughs> Must be taken out and given to the patient in a doggy bag. Okay. That's cool. Um. Oh. So I need a surgeon. Okay. Uh, a surgeon would definitely be a doctor. Here's one. Yeah, sure, this person looks fine. Spare ribs. Ooh. Ooh, that's not good. Um, I mean, sure, I'll build, I'll build another diagnosis room. It's really not going to do any, oh, hang on. Okay. Um, let's research. Um, we just built another diagnosis room. We cured everybody. Ooh, that's not good. Um, okay. Well, yeah. So, I think I built all the possible diagnosis rooms. Um, hey look, we can expand out. Um, I could build a second staff room over there. Just for lulz. Um, Okie dokie, I guess I'm building another GB office for no reason. Whew! 
Man, things are getting busy here. Am I gonna get promoted? Not just yet. Alright, let's see. I've got three doctors, one nurse, one handyman, one receptionist. Oh, man. No, the receptionist seems to be doing well, right? Oh, no, you stay here. I'm surprised that I'm able to run this with just three doctors. That's pretty amazing. Uh, I don't actually believe that at all. Um, Okie dokie. So I got four doctors. So that means <laughs> two of them can use the two pool tables while the other two run uh, the hospital. That's exactly how it should work. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, patient. Sorry, patient, but there's nothing we can do for you if we've sent you to all of our rooms and we still have nothing for you. Um, clinics. So there's an inflation room and a slack tongue clinic. Um, let's see, what else? Toilets. <laughs> um. Oh, crud. Gut rot. Ooh, yeah, I'm ready to I'm ready to dole out them drugs. Um Maybe that's why people were getting stuck. Maybe it was having the benches in the hallway. I don't know. Yeah. Come on by. Our reputation can't possibly get any worse. Um. It's not looking good for the four patients who are there. No, seriously, why are you not going to... Here, you're moving. Oh, shit. Is this... No, okay, everything's uh, in order there. So we saved one patient. And we have a chance of maybe saving another before time expires. No, you stay. This is what I wanted to move. You think that these patients would have the common sense to wait right outside the pharmacy, but no. Okay. Oh, 
But maybe I've saved them. Maybe I've saved all the patients. <laughs> My auto autopsy machine has been discovered. Expect negative PR. That's not surprising um, that there'd be negative PR from seeing that. But they gotta know the truth. I like that they've still got the staff room that's enormous in the middle of the hospital. <laughs> if any staff member ever uses it, they'll be watched. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Are these two researchers competing with each other? Why do I have two researchers in the research lab? I guess they're busy round the clock there. Um, we've exhausted everything. Well, the only option at that point is sending them home. I mean, if, oh, that's an interesting cardio testing room, I guess. That's pretty cool. Oh, nice. So, yeah, I can actually build a new thing. Huh. Okay, well, at least there is a favorable view there. Uh, let's go down here and build an x-ray room. How do I arrange all this? Um, here, let's put the radiation shield down first. There we go. Nice. And let's build some facilities with our facilities. Oh man, do you really need an x-ray to see if this guy has bloaty head? He obviously has it. Okay, that's cool. Alright, 34 patients to go. Um, I wish I could zoom out and see more than this. But man, this game's awesome.
Now, I don't understand why my hospital has such a low favorability rating. Um, okay, I gotta keep an eye on... Ooh! Oh, okay. Wow. Psychiatric office. Okay, we gotta build a psychiatric. Okay, there we go. Good enough. It's functional. It'll do. Where are the patients going? Can I not find their way there? That's just special. If pathfinding's that messed up that... Oh man. Hang on. Where's the doctor? There we go. At least we can treat one of these guys. Nice. Okay, we might need another doctor. Oh crap, that one... I was gonna go hire them, and they just disappeared. Uh, I don't... There aren't any candidates with general practitioner skills. So, we'll just... Hire another dude. Ooh, that's not good. Whatever. We tried. Uh, six patients um, suffered whatever the consequence of that particular uh, condition was. Oh. Which reminds me, I need to go fix... Well, this was never a room to begin with. Never mind. Got to keep an uh, eye on my machines, they say. Although, you'd think that the handyman could do such things. I mean, why should I have to? Oh, I could put a litter bin over here. Also, yeah, I should install some radiators. There's a radiator, there's a radiator. There, can people be happy now? Um, yeah, we'll install radiator down here too, just because we're generous. Um, Let's see, should I install some plants? One per room? Right next to the door? There's one. There's one. There's one. All right next to the door. Slack tongue. Yeah, we'll send them to the research department, even though 
really what we need is a slack tongue clinic. So let's just build that. Sure. One, two, three. There we go. Here's our slicer. Good enough. Kidney beans. Let's build an operating theater. Um, okay, well, we gotta have a facility for an operating theater. So... Alright, operating theater, here we go. This is good. Oh, come on. You interrupted my dramatic moment, game. Alright, we're building an operating theater the likes of which no hospital has ever seen. Uh, there we go. Uh, put the x-ray viewer over here. Operating table on the other end of the room. Sink, I don't know, over here. And the surgeon screen over there. There we go. Of course, two doctors with surgeon cap uh, capability. I think I only have one, right? I've only got one surgeon. Nice! Yeah, I'm totally ready. Let's see. Like a surgeon. Cutting for the very first time. Surgeon. Oh, we have too many doctors? Let's see, how's this guy doing? Well, he's not so happy, is he? Okay, that helps his morale a little bit. Uh, this guy's busy. He's got no qualifications. Oh man. He looks so happy, but... Um... I seem to have a problem on my hands. Uh, I took in more patients than I was ready for. Um, so let's furnish the place. And maybe if people see how well furnished this place is, they'll forget about their problems. Oh yeah, there's ample seating. Oh, did I actually successfully treat all these patients? I think my mach machines are doing fine. Nice. Secured five out of five. I'm so looking forward to seeing this operating room in operation. <laughs> Our VIP is going to go visit this. I feel like, what the heck, guys? Um, also, let's install some benches. There we go. He just takes one look at that operating room and he's like, You guys, uh, don't even know what you're doing. 
it's an operating theater, but that doesn't mean there need to be, like, lights and cameras and... I don't know. That's pretty special. Okay, so how... Where's the heating problem? I think that's fine. I mean, I could install another radiator somewhere. Why don't I do that? Never mind, we'll move it over here. Apparently sticking it right there interfered with everybody's pathfinding, so... Gotta put it somewhere else. Nice. Alright. Bloaty head. Yeah, sure. Why not? Alright, two patients to go. Two patients to go. There's an emergency. Move, move, move. Oh, all these machines are in good working order. I really like this tune. It's so nice. Um, There we go. Got some bins. So hopefully patients won't litter as much. Uh-oh, this is not looking good. Let's go, go, go! Get a doctor in the inflator room, please. Alright, we got one patient being cured. And a couple totally not. That's only two dead patients. Only two dead patients. We tried. We really did. Um... But, you know, if I cure two more, I get to go on to the next level. So, there's that. I saved one person. Not really my problem. I mean, kind of, but... Yeah, let's blame the equipment. Not the fact that the doctor was just standing right there not doing anything. That had nothing to do whatsoever with the problems. You know, maybe this enormous staff room in the middle of the facility is challenging the pathfinding of the doctors. Um, or maybe I just didn't place this right to begin with. I don't know. Whoa! Whoa, what's, what's wrong here? Whoa.
What have I done that's just... Something's not right. Something happened there, I can't tell what. Yeah, there's definitely some pathfinding problems. I guess installing radiators can cause all kinds of issues. Uh, so I have to be careful where I install them. Increase your hospital value by 905. We're close, guys. We're almost there. So you're saying from here I can adjust priorities? How do I adjust the priorities? Oh man! Man, he's got problems. I guess I just need to hire another handyman. I guess there's just too much for just two handymen. So having that third one should be great. See, now how are we doing morale wise? Hopefully that guy's not as tired as he used to be. <sighs> I think I just need a third nurse. Uh, oops, that's not the higher button. Here we go. Man, my hospitals are busy. That's crazy. Sure. Yeah, sure, why not? I got the money. make the handyman clear up more effectively by adjusting the priorities. Policy. Oh, nice. There's some charts, you know, if you ever needed some charts. There's some more charts. Oh, look, an emergency. There's one person with spare ribs. Sure, why not? Okay, oh, we got five doctors. Probably want to hire one more. Uh, there aren't any doctors that have um, surgical skills.
But you know, if I could just get my rating up a little bit, I would win this level. Um... Of course, everybody's hamming it up the minute the minister arrives. I mean, who wouldn't want to make some sort of dramatic effect? Let's see, is there anything more I could do to furnish this place? Uh, I think we got everything. Man, what a busy hospital. Oops. Oh, that's not good for morale. Uh, but hey, we tried. We made an attempt. Alright, man. It's almost like I'm gonna have to get rid of the staff room for people to be happy. Either that, or I might need to hire another handyman. Um, fine. I'll give you a raise, dude. Whatever. Yeah, I'll give you one. Although that's not going to last for keeping up your morale. Um... There's just so much work for the handyman to do. It's crazy. Alright, let's add some benches in. Oh, nice! Here we go! Dear dear, you have vastly... You've been vastly successful during your tenure at the hospital. To this end, we predict great things for you and like to offer you a position elsewhere. Hey, we'd like to double your salary and think you'd love the new challenge would pose. Would you like a position at Frimpton on Sea Hospital? Eh, sure, why not? <gasps> How could this possibly be a bad thing? Don't worry about money too much, they'll come as your vital reputation grows. You'll be able to train your doctors to wind their abilities. They could well be dealing with patients who seem less opaque than most. Okay. Cool. I see it's giving me fewer and fewer clues each time. Um... some windows stick the desk here filing cabinet there chair there and yeah we had a plant and bin oh we'll need to hire a receptionist Sure. It's the best we can afford at the moment. Okay, we want to 
open a general diagnosis room here. Yeah, seriously, what's with patients spreading their derms? That's rude. Um, let's see. Okay, let's add a pharmacy somewhere. You know, I would add it outside if I could. Uh, but I can't. Okay. We have to employ a nurse. Hang on. Let's make sure we sack the correct staff member. Bye. All right. Um. Credit cards required. What's that about? Oops, I probably should have placed that first. Okay, let's place the door. Auto autopsy. There we go. Desk goes in some corner. File and cabinet over there somewhere. Okay, uh, we're going to want to add, I don't know, well psychiatric counts both as a diagnosis and a treatment room. Very interesting. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully the patients in the psychiatric room won't mind the autopsy machine next door. We'll see just how they feel about that. Uh, a skeleton in a bookcase. Sure, why not? Okay, I think you were telling me something about the symbols here. Um, so. Oh, a training room. The consultant can use to train other doctors. Nice. Let's see, do I need that? Uh, that'll do. A 
lecture chair and projector. Um, just add skeletons everywhere. Send them to re the research department. Oh, do we have no nurses? Uh, let's hire a nurse. Okay, do we have no handyman? Let's hire a handyman. Ah, uh, dang it. Here, you're hired. Uh, okay. Cool. <whistles> sure. Uh, let's build a second pharmacy. Pharmacy cabinet. There we go. Hire another nurse. Um, add some furnishing. Five patients cured. All right, and as apparently I'm making a tradition, we need a staff room. Um, although let's let's not be confined by our previous conceptions of staff room. No, 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 no. Um, here let's take this building down there. That's gonna be the new staff room. That whole bloody building. It's gonna be one big old party. Here we go. Or at least to the extent I can make this one room that all the staff can share. Which I think is limited to this, right? Um, cool. Place the door. as many windows as we can and here's the sofa there you go that's the staff room all right um yeah let's put some seating in here oh can i not fit a bench here Okay, how about a bench there? Nice. Uh, I suppose I need a radiator. For those cold, cold winter months. Oh, okay. You guys want some drinks? Fine, we'll put some drinks in. Here you go. Oh, man, they all stepped right over there. That was super effective. Um, okay, so I should go back to building useful rooms. Hang on. Can I purchase a doctor who's got some useful skills? Qualified researcher. Qualified psychiatrist. 
Um, extra qualifications. Do I have just one handyman? I think over time I'm going to need another one, so let's just buy another one right now. Oh, we need more seating? Okay. Somehow I don't think that that's the real problem, but sure. Let's deal with the symptom rather than the real problem. Okay, um, wait, I need to hire a doctor and not look at my current list of doctors. I need a general practitioner, if we can find one. We cannot. Bummer. <laughs> we could take a researcher. Let's build another room. Wait, do I have a ward? I don't think I have a ward here. I do not. That could be a useful thing. It could be a useful addition. Um, sure. Why not? Let's build this enormous freaking ward over here. No, we don't. Litter is like a signature of our hospital. And if you don't like it, Find somewhere else. I mean, okay, yeah, we do apologize. Sorry about that. How many beds can I cram into this ward? Hang on. Okay. I was going to add some bins. And some plants and stuff. Um, let's see, where can I find? Here we are. Plants. Let's add one plant to this room. Let's see, how are we doing? We have two nurses. One of them's ultra super tired. I think means I'm just going to hire one more nurse. Uh, okay, we'll build additional rooms. We just built a ward. We got a GP office. Ooh, I don't have any additional diagnosis rooms that are buildable. Um... That'll be fine. Okay, drop this in here. Um, I want to add a plant and bin. Here's a plant. Here's a bin. Nice. Yeah, this is a great game. 
Uh, check it out on GOG. It's on sale. Uh, and it doesn't cost an arm and a leg either. So, that's awesome. Um... Well, damn. <laughs> Build toilets in an easily accessible place. Well, how am I going to achieve that now? Okay. Well, there's a difference between easily accessible and conveniently accessible. It's not too difficult for them to access the toilets here. It's just a bit of a walk. There we go. Okay, we got one sink, one toilet. There we go. Yeah, I've still got the disc too. And I, it's been a pain and a half trying to get it to work on any computer. Um, so I was, just got this on GOG. It works in DOSBox. It's beautiful. Um, Okay. Man, look at all those people queuing up for the toilet. Sucks to be them. <laughs> uh, okay. I should probably add another toilet. Um. Yeah. Okay. Let's yeah, add a plant and a bin. And some more toilets. Plant, bin, toilet, toilet. There we go. Perfect. Once this guy moves, I might consider. Actually, I could put a radiator over here. Never mind. Uh, so let's add the radiator. Right here. There we go. I mean, the only thing we can do is send patients home um, at this point, as we don't have any other kinds of rooms that we can build. Do I need another doctor? I think I do. Um, here we go. There's a general practitioner right there. Spare ribs. Cure. It must be taken out by two surgeons and given to the patient in a doggy bag. Oh, that's cool. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't have the ability to deal with spare ribs at the moment. Bloaty head. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna build an inflation room. Um, uh, where am I gonna build it? I guess I'm gonna expand outward here. Uh, let's build here. So, clinic. Inflator room. That'll be fine. Put the door right there. Add some windows. So if anything goes wrong, the whole world sees it. And there we go. Um, See, can I add a bin? Yep, there we go. Gotta keep these places tidy, you know. Um, uh, 
Oh, hang on. We can build another kind of room here. What was it? A cardiogram. Two, three, four, five windows, just because. And let's add in our standard fare. There we go. Um, nice. New x-ray has become available. Wait, how... How big does the x-ray room have to be? Obviously not that entire dimension, but... Well, that's kind of inconvenient. You know, in case I want to add any other rooms into this building. Ah, uh, crap. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess that's what we're doing. shield in one corner, x-ray in another, nice. Okay, um, man, this guy's unhappy. I can hardly blame him. Good that all these guys have some skills, though. That's pretty cool. Alright, how are these people doing? Fine. I'll give you the raise you want. Just because I'm in a good mood at the moment. Corrugated ankles. Driving it over traffic calming measures in road. But where it does not fit slugly, snugly. A slightly toxic blend of herbs and spices. <laughs> okay. Oh, traffic calming measures. I get it. I get what that means. That's speed bumps. Yeah, sure. What's the worst that could happen? There's no way we could fail that in emergency. Um, I might need another doctor. That's the wrong button to hire a new doctor. have something positive to say, except when they don't. Man, that's a lot of people lined up. Hang on, I might need an additional reception desk. Oh, crud, where's the reception desk? Here it is. Okay, we're going to stick it right here. 
apparently. Or not. Oh, man, I can't fit this anywhere. Okay, there we go. <laughs> the best place to put a receptionist desk. Okay, do I not have a general practitioner? Yeah, I do. Fine, we'll just hire more doctors until everything works out. Nice. Jeez, what a mess. Okay, so... Have I failed to build some diagnosis rooms? No, I've built all the ones that I know how. Uh, the only thing I'm lacking here, I guess, is an operating theater. Um, which I could build at some point. Uh, Fracture Clinic. Alright, so we're going to go to our new building somewhere. Let's see, can we install a Fracture Clinic? Nice, we can. Alright, just install this right in the middle of the room. Having broken bones will go there. The cast removal machine will use powerful industrial lasers to slice off any hardened cast, causing only a little agony to the patient. It requires a nurse and occasionally requires maintenance. Nice. That's all we can do if um, if we don't know how to treat the patient and we built every possible room, what can we do? Tells me I have too many doctors, but uh, I find that kind of hard to believe just given this situation. I have three nurses. Um, one of them is exhausted. Uh, let's see if we can hire one more nurse. Okay, yeah, we don't know what to do. Fine, whatever.
Dang it. I want to install it right here. There we go. So yeah, I really don't know what's going on here. Maybe for some more plants to cheer them up. Okay, noted. Noted, we just need more plants. Uh, put plants everywhere. Got all the plants. Uh, that's not it. Oh, that's the wrong one. Good enough. Good enough. There we go. Oh, is that really all we needed the whole time? Was just add some more plants in? Is that all it would have taken to make everybody happy? I'm not sure what it is that causes everything to get all jammed like that. Um, I don't have an operating theater. Um, yeah, I just don't feel like treating that, you know? Oh, wow. You've got patients coming in by helipad. Maybe it's the whole lack of seeding thing that's just causing people to freak out. I don't know. I should also improve my staff room at some point. It's one hell of a staff room. I, I find this hilarious down here. Got this enormous room and a sofa. And that's basically the whole purpose of the staff room is so people could sit on the sofa. Okay. I suppose I'll add some items. 
Yeah. Eight pool tables. Here we go. Wait, can I fit eight pool tables in here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, we got room for more pool tables. But I think eight's probably good enough. Uh, let's add some sofas, some plants. Um, actually, just one plant's probably fine. There we go. Eight pool tables, four sofas, and a plant. Can't say I never did nothing for the people. Um. All right, let's let's actually build um, an operating theater, and we'll build it up here. Uh, treatment operating theater. Here we go. Build it as large as possible with windows everywhere. Okay, the x-ray viewer. It's gonna go on the far corner. Operating table right next to the windows here, if I can manage that. Uh, good enough. And put the screen uh, over here. Also, add a plant in a bin, because that's what I do everywhere I'm in a room. There we go. Yep, we'll still need to employ an operating surgeon. Um, so, is there a surgeon out there? There we go. Invisibility. As patients suffer no discomfort. Indeed, many use the condition to play practical jokes on their families. A colorful liquid drink in the pharmacy. Restores full visibility. Oh, you need two surgeons? Well, damn, do I have two surgeons? Yeah, I do have two surgeons. So we're good. It is interesting that, I guess, unless I build every possible room, I don't get to know um, the cures for a whole bunch of things. So that's interesting. Also, I thought there was something about a lecturer or something, somebody who could transfer doctor skills to other doctors. Uh, I have not seen anybody with that qualification. Alright, have I built every possible room? I don't think so. Oh, hang on. Scanner. Alright, now where am I going to find room to put a scanner? Um, jokes aside, I might need to change something up. Okay, so I guess, um, yeah, the training room is going to go. And in its place, I'm going to put a scanner room. Uh, except that doesn't fit.
Okay, so I need to edit this to make more room. Uh, I don't know how much more room. But I'm going to try to make do with that. Well, that's a problem too. not room for the plant anymore. Nice. Awesome. So, yeah, I want to build... Uh, what was the room type? I want to build a scanner over here if I can. Okay, so theoretically that would be enough space. I just have to move the door to the ward. Um, in order to move that, I've got to resize some other things. Um, Okay, this in turn means we have to reorient the door on this ward. Fine. If you're that insistent. Just be patient, patient. It's great that the nurse wants to get back in there, but <laughs> the patient just walks out by themselves, so that's cool. Um, there we go. Let's re-add the windows back in. Um... This might actually affect my ability to fit all the beds in the room. Yeah, I guess that will have to do. Uh, and I want to add a plant in a bin. Hang on, just one second. We're building a scanner room right over here. He's packed. You guys can't all seriously be queuing for reception, right? I fit this reception desk. It's got to be somewhere I can fit it. Oh, 
Okay, if it's there, and patients can actually access it. Alright, so we've got seven doctors, three nurses. Okie I think all's well and good. I really think so. Man, these poor handymen, they've got the most difficult job of the century. Um, Might need one more handyman. Jeez. Yeah, this brings back memories of the old game. I really don't know what to do about it. Good old memories. I guess I need another handyman. Jeez. Do I need to close down the hospital to take care of this? This is insane. King Bernard of the Netherlands has expressed a wish to visit your hospital. For some reason I'm saying, yeah, sure, bring it. Why not? Okay, I think I need another handyman. Okay, we're gonna hire a receptionist who can actually handle the job. If assuming there is such a person. I could swear that I tried everything else, but you know. Okay, so 
I'm not exactly sure what's going on. Um, but yeah, having another reception desk would not be a bad thing. Okay, yeah, that, that's the great way to pathfind your way over here. Oh, I just sealed off that part of the world. I guess. <laughs> Next time he's seriously ill, he wants to visit my hospital. Well, that can be arranged. I mean, yeah, sure. Why not? He evidently had his eyes closed or something. There's no way he could have seen this and been happy. Oh, here's a thought. Let's move this reception desk over here. I've got room. fits quite well here. Wait, what do you mean where's the audio? Do you guys not hear any audio? Or are you just saying this audio is ridiculous? Oh, what's quiet? You're saying the game is quiet? Like all the game audio including the music? Are you saying that I'm quiet, or what? Because, like, this game was overwhelmingly loud on my speakers, so I just turned it down. Yeah, exactly. Yep, okay, whatever it was that I said is exactly whatever it is that you meant. Okay, well, I'll try to change some settings. Um, we got the sound maxed out. Now the music's maxed out. Um, I'm kind of surprised that's not overwhelming, but okay. Oh, people queue up for the reception desk. I think the issue here is the people can't actually physically front fit in front of the desk in order to make the request. That she gladly check them in if only they could fit in front of the desk. Um
There we go. <laughs> if patients can find this reception desk, they can queue up. Good luck finding it. Turn this back down to 50 for announcements. So is the issue here that I just... That wasn't what I wanted to move. Good gravy. You're persistent, aren't you? can't move the freaking desk while you're at the desk. Okay, fine. Uh, sure, whatever. So it has nothing to do with the orientation of this thing. Okay, okay, okay. So... Yeah, overall, I don't think I'm doing so well. I've got 222 reputation. And a bajillion staff. Um. Yeah, bye. Okay. Um. Let's see, this guy. He's got plenty of credentials, so we'll try to make him happier. These guys are pretty diligent. Yeah. Whatever, we can afford to have seven handymen. Somehow we can afford that. Um, Lawrence Nightingale expresses a wish to visit my hospital. Oops. Okay. Eh, what can you do? We tried. We made a half-hearted effort. We almost maybe kind of sort of saved somebody. Not quite. Wait, are you stuck in the room? Okay. 
<laughs> I think earlier he said he was, I was three quarters of the way, and now he's saying I'm halfway there. Whatever, I'm sure we're some percentage of the way to where we need to be. Uh, maybe I do need another queue. Let's add a reception desk. Uh... Oh, kill another 57 patients to lose the level. Great. We're, we're on our way there. Now killed 54 people. You're supposed to actually cure people, not kill them. Alright, well, either way, we're gonna set a record. So, gotta look on the bright side of things. Yeah, this is one extremely crowded building here. In hindsight, uh, trying to cram everything into one building is probably not the wisest idea. Uh, I wish that had occurred to me from the outset. But this is why we play the game. It's simulation. You learn something each time. The lesson I learned here is don't cram everything into one building. It just doesn't work. Okay. Let's hire another doctor. Man, these st this doctors looking pretty important just hanging out in the operating room. There's no patient in there. Oh, crap. Wow. That patient just died. That was pretty... It's pretty special that I just killed a patient just by lifting a doctor and moving him outside the room. I'm surprised the game let you do that. I mean, you can make all sorts of decisions that indirectly kill a patient, but actually directly killing one? is That's special. I probably should have looked at that closer before accepting it. Um, but yeah, we'll be fine. Somehow. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> nice. Oh, 
Might as well let the simulation run for itself here for a minute. Oh no! We've killed another patient. Oops. Ah, shame that. Death count. 67. That's six times all the rest of these combined. Oh yeah. We're on a roll, guys. Uh-oh. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> oh, snap. Well, no surprise there. Oh, wow. Well, um, good game. Amazing. I didn't think it would have the gall to do such a thing, but it did. Well, with that, I think we've beaten the game. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all next time. Wow.